Welcome everybody. This is Mr. Muhammad Najjar. Today we will together illustrate the general structure of the phylum Arthropod, and we will dig through the subphylum Crustacea, and we will take the shrimp as an example, and deeply we will go through the anatomy of the shrimps. We will go through the section of the shrimps, and even will go through the sex determination and how to differentiate between the male and the female, and we will go through the appendages and even we will go through the internal structures. If you didn't subscribe, please hit the subscription button below. And if you find this content useful, please share it. And please, if you have any comments, put it below. And in order to make use of the time properly, try to make use of the timestamps that is found in the description below. So let's get started. Anatomy of shrimps. First of all, let's talk about the classification. Shrimps lie under the phylum Arthroboda. Arthro means joint, Boda means leg. So, Arthroboda means jointed legs. If we are looking to the shrimp, it has two distinctive regions. Firstly, we have the head region. Actually, this is the cephalothorax. Cephalothorax comes from two words. Cephalon is the brain, while thorax is the region that's after the head. And here there is a fusion of the head and thorax forming a cephalothorax. And it's covered by a translucent carabus. If you look in here, this is the exoskeleton. It's transparent and you can even look to the internal organs from the um, exoskeleton or the translucent carabus. Even after this the cephalothorax region it's made up of 13 segments okay we will talk about every single segment in the head in just a couple of seconds so according to the shape of the roster the shrimp will be the, the shrimp species are different also they have a compound stock eyes if you are looking here this is the eye and it is a compact a compound eye and it has a stock or a holder this is the eye, this is the compound eye, and it's being held on a stock or a holder. And here we have the second part, which is the abdomen. This is the abdomen. Abdomen, abdomen is made up of uh, six segments, if you are, count them even. Here, this is the first segment, this is the second, here, third, fourth, fifth, and the sixth. So they are the six abdominal segments. Appendages. If we are talking about the appendages, the shrimp has 20 appendages. Let's get started talking about them. Here, in the sixth abdominal segment, there is the telson, and we have here the urobode. This is the urobode that acting like battles by which they are helping in the swimming process. And here there is the telson. So the first two segments are the telson and urobodes. So we are removing them in order to carry on. So those are the Eurobots. And here is the Tilson. We are putting the appendages here. So, firstly, those are the Eurobots, and this is the Tilson. Let's continue. After this, we have the fifth, fourth, third, second, and first abdominal segments. Every single abdominal segment of the first fifth, there are swimrits. There are swimrits. Actually, they are also referred to as the pleopods. They are five pairs. We can even count them. One, two, three, four, Five. And 
the importance of them they actually have a very important role they are attached to the five anterior abdominal segments its function for creating water currents and transforming sperm and this is only for males and we will go to this in the determination of the sex and how to differentiate between the male and the female shrimps in just a couple of seconds so we have five segments each segment there is a swim ritz comes out of it in order to help in the swimming after this we have the uh, prey boats prey boats are also referred to as the thoraso boats thoraso come from thorax boat mean leg so they are referred to as thoraso boats thoraso boats they are referred to as prey boats and also they are mostly known as walking legs they are known as walking legs why because they are helping in the locomotion and movement in solid surfaces they are also five and if we even count in them we have here one pair and second pair then we have third pair then we have the fourth pair and eventually we have the fifth and the last walking legs so even we can remove them in order to make them much easier for discovering what's next so this is the first second we can continue then we have fourth and eventually we have the sixth the fifth those are the walking legs two three four and the fifth walking legs okay after this if we even proceed we will find the maxillary beads actually the maxillary beads they are three pairs first second and third this is the maxillary bead i'll continue even removing this in order to make a clear field of vision yes now even we can see better even if we remove the carabas here we will find here the gills those are the gills those are the gills okay so if you proceed even inward we're gonna find here that here is the first maxillary bead here this is the first so number one this is the first maxillary bead we will put it here okay the function of the maxillary bead is to touch and taste and manipulating food so this is the first pair and after we have this is the second maxillary bead we can even remove it this is the second maxillary bead and this is the walking legs the r5 okay not too confused and after this we have the third maxillary bead and this is the third maxillary bead this very delicate this is the third maxillary bead so now we have three pairs of maxillary bead that are held in the touch taste and manipulating food and right after we have the maxilla maxilla they are two pairs first and second they are also manipulating food and drawing water currents over the gills in order to help in the process of respiration or gases exchange so we will yes they are very soft very delicate this is the first one easily can be removed yes this is the uh, one the second uh, maxilla we will put them here and this we have also we have to be very soft and delicate dealing with it so we have again let's just we have the antenna all of this is the antenna all of this is the antenna we can remove it like this it is very big in comparison to the small antenna this all of this is the antenna 
Okay, we will place it here. And the small or the antineule is this. This is the antineule. We also remove it. So this is the antineule. We will, we will place it here. If we count them, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So we have twenty appendages, and we did mention the structure of each and the function. Six determination. If we are looking for the first swim rate, this is one of the most important things in order to differentiate between the male and the females. The male has a structure that is added here, and this is the female. If you are looking for the female between the second between the second walking legs, there is an opening here. This opening through which the sperms are gets in this opening yes through this opening the spams are gets in so this is the a female yes through this opening between the walking legs but the male has one of the most important features if you are taking this okay this is the first swim rate and this is the additional part that is found only in only in males so we can now differentiate between the male and the female the male has the first abdominal segment the first swim rate there is additional okay segment by which the spams are being transferred from the male to the to the female while the female has an opening in the second okay walking legs through which the spams are being moving inside the body here okay this is the opening so now we can differentiate between the male and the female internal structures if we are proceeding talking about the internal structures of the shrimps firstly this is the head we did mention this and this is the eye the eye is stocked carried by a stock and here there is the stomach and here is the hebato a bancaria through which the lipids and the digestive enzymes are being secreted and here if we are yes go here the mandibles are open into the mouth opening this is the mouth opening this is the mouth opening and the mouth opening surely it's open in the esophagus and after the esophagus there is the stomach and then intestine and the intestine is bathing here and eventually there is the anal opening here this is the anal opening and if we even move farther we're gonna find here in the ventral region there is the ventral the ventral nerve cord one of the most important things this is the blue line is the ventral nerve cord very very important okay this extend ventrally and if you are taking this position and go up here there is the brain or what is known as the parapharyngeal ganglion if we would like to remove it in order to see it okay we remove now the carabus okay after the removal of the carabus we will find here that the stomach is here so even if we are cutting dorsally the carabus we will find out here or cutting dorsally and it has muscles that are making the flipping movement okay this is the carabas, we are just removing it. I'll try to do my best in order to cut it properly. Uh, 
I'll try to use a surgical blade in order to go even farther. So this is the surgical blade. But we have to cut very carefully throughout along the both sides, not to uh, not to cut the abdominal nerve cord. It needs a little bit, need an accuracy. Yes, now we are closer. Yes, this is the ventral. Yeah, we have to be very careful. Yes, we have to just take out the muscles and leave the nerve not to cut it. I have to be very, very careful. Not to cut the nerve. Yes. Here. This is the sand. Okay. We don't need it. Okay. Here is the internal. Oh, I'm sorry, the ventral nerve cord. Yes, it's now very clear. And here there are the ganglion. There are ganglion throughout the ventral nerve cord. Now it is very obvious. Yes, look here. Yeah, this is the in the ventral nerve cord. It's very clear, and we didn't cut it. Okay, that's very clear. And of course, it's been connected. Yes, it's passing. Okay, till it's been connected to the brain. It's cut here because the brain is here. Actually, as as I mentioned, it's not a fresh. That's why, as you can see here, so this is the uh, most important thing to be, to be mentioned here, the ventral nerve cord, okay? And this is the last thing to talk about the internal structure of the shrimps. At the end of the video, I wish you enjoyed watching it. And if you didn't subscribe yet, please hit the subscription button and press the bell in order to have a notification whenever we uploaded a new video. And if you find this content useful, please share it. Welcoming, see you next time. Till then, goodbye.